Hello everybody, this is me, Mambrick201. Today we got a special little treat for you. We got a KO MP36 Megatron because I am too poor to actually buy the official one. So, here he is in his gun mode. And, um, yeah. Not everything wants to tab in, and some things wants to tab in too much. But, yeah. So, you got that issue and uh, one issue I know it's probably an issue with the regular one too is just with how raised how much raised this part is you can't exactly use the iron sights on the gun this the safety does move the hammer does as well and you can move the trigger and yes if you're wondering this fusion cannon does snap on top here just fine. And for some size comparison, here he is next to MP10 Optimus Prime. Let's go get him out of the way and now let's get some of his accessories on. Get his silencer. And his stock. So now Okay, that, that was a great fumble. So you see back here, it's kind of scratched on the KO anyways. It'll it'll scratch off the paint when you put this on, so be warned when you, if you get the KO. Or one of many KOs, because there's like a gazillion different MP36 KOs, so uh, yeah. Slide it on, you have to press this button while sliding it on, so then it can actually, you know, connect. Alright, so we got that connected, and now you just get the suppressor, get it like that, and it, yes, it will scratch against the gun barrel just like the official one, so you're warned there too. Okay, and we got Megatron and his full suppressed glory. With his suppressor and his uh, backstop. And yeah, he does feel a bit big, but I mean, for like, you know, for what the gun is supposed to be, but like, all things considering, it's pretty good and it's kind of good that it's kind of bigger than the actual gun. Just safety reasons, but you know, yeah. <laughs> and I, I did notice compared to the G1 toy, it feels a bit blocky around the handle area. But Due to just how this thing transforms, I'm amazed they even got it like this at all. So we we're, we're gonna take off. Hold on, let me take off the silencer first. Okay, I have a, Okay, got that. There we go. We'll move those side. And I'll take off his fusion cannon. And I'll transform this off camera because. Dear Lord, is this thing fright kind of scary transforming? To give you an idea, it's like just as scary as transforming MP is uh, MP09, which is the hot rod, which I will never transform on camera. In fact, I will never transform that damn thing ever again. So, without further ado, oh wait, man, I forgot to show you some of the details. Um, Decepticon symbols on both sides. The gun grip. Little upside detailings here, and you can kind of see this detailing inside the barrel, like molded detailing. I don't know if you could see, probably not. Not using the best of cameras. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, and his head's right there. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'll transform this guy. So now we're back and here is MP36 Megatron in robot mode. Very, very nice figure. Like Optimus, he can turn a 360 degrees. He has an ab crunch in like Optimus. His arms can move out about that far. You can kind of butterfly joint them. Like a little.
We got 90, 90 degree bend. At the elbow. Or more than 90 degree, I mean. Because 90 would just be like up to like right here. Isn't that cool? the leg up that far. You can move it out. Hold on. You could let me no okay yeah. That butt flap is you can move it out about that far but you kind of disconnecting the butt flap back here. The far as you can get with the with that butt flap in Position about there. He has fusion cannon on. And yes, he does have ankle tilt. Far better. Anyway, uh, hold on, let's see if he has better ankle tilt than Optimus here. Now that I remind Optimus does have a superior ankle tilt. <laughs> but of course, you can't really stand on that. But it goes out farther, but you could technically get Optimus just to like somewhere like around like here. But his ankle tilt, well, no, you can actually get his kind of almost about there, so kind of pointless, really, but you know, you can do that. Um, just detailing on the side of his legs. Forgot his hand articulation. You can move this figure independently from these ones. There's multiple hinges, there's one right there and one right there. Same with the other hand, with the other fingers. And they're exactly the same on this side. And yeah, oh, and his fusion cannon on here, of course. Classic OG fusion cannon. You move this switch up, and... voice clips and then finally the transformation noise. I like to keep in the blaster one but take that off. Put that to the side. Now during transformation unfortunately a crap ton of paint shipped on mine. Could be the KO quality paint not being that great. Could also be my carelessness. As I had no idea how the hell to transform this damn thing. And yeah. But the chip being from the back of the legs due to the stock being too tight and same through the barrel, it's kind of an inevitable thing. So that part wasn't um, my fault. Well, kind of because I could have just pinned the barrel loosely, but you know, I, I, I thought they might have fixed that issue, but yeah, they did. And yeah. And just to let you know, no, this is not an oversized KO or anything of that nature. It is approximately, it is the same size, I believe, as the official one. Ben's Collectibles, I believe, has a review of uh, the same one. Megatron. Now, his unibrow wasn't complete. Like, or not his unibrow, but he's like, like how some people are saying guideline. It wasn't exactly complete as they had it on the two sides but in the middle it was missing so I just added that on here. And here's it with Optimus. Megatron's a bit taller but you know whatever. Just a bit. They look great together. 
Oh, but I'm thinking of getting a new head for him. This one via shape boys, which kind of looks like from the... It's taken, I think, from a particular part in the movie. This one shape boys head that somebody did for uh, MP10. And I'll see if that's better than that sometime later, but I don't have the money, so yeah. With that said and all, get to get on. Alright. So he comes with three other faces, but I'm only showing you two, as I'll talk about later when we get into the quality of this figure. So that aspect of it, um, talk about what exactly happened to that face, and yeah. So we take off the hand. It just kind of comes off. And now we're going to attach his mace. There we go. You got his classic Energon mace. Now, you might be thinking, oh, it sucks. It's on a chain, right? Yeah, it sucks. Well, just like the official release, he comes with another chain. Posable one. And I'll show that one off here. Just got to take that off. Take that off. All right. Alright, I'm just seeing how this is real quick. Alright. And there we have his other chain, which you can pose however you want. And, okay, I kind of pulled that off on accident, so that's more my fault and not... Damn it, I keep pulling it off. More my fault rather than the actual video's fault. Because the joints on here are pretty good for the most part. And now I'll get another comparison with Optimus with his Energon Mace. And I have them two fighting. Although I'm not, for the sakes of this review, and so this can be fast, I'm not going to put him in any crazy poses. Although, with the articulation of both MP10 and MP36, you can get both the figures into some pretty cool poses together. But yeah, I'm going to put his hand back on. You just simply slide it back on. Boom. There we go. He comes with this helmet from that one episode where you controlled that clone of Optimus Prime. Paint on here is pretty good. Take this face off. Take this chest off. Put this face on. And put this chest piece on. And now we got Battle Damage Megatron from Transformers The Movie. And yeah. Let's zoom in. He just looks great. I mean, look at that face. That looks amazing. Just looks phenomenal. And that is not all. Hold on. Let me zoom out a bit. Now, we'll get with him with his accessory. One of his accessories, which is the gun he killed Optimus Prime with in the movie. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And let's turn him to the side. Move our camera a bit. And zoom in. As you guys can get a closer look at his gun. Pretty good. Try to zoom this out enough so you can get some detail. <sighs> Hold on, I'm like trying to. There we go. Some nice detailing and everything. Although the paint does kind of rub off easily, I noticed on the gun. And it did rub off the top of the helmet, but not too bad on that one, though. So I think 
the gun on a few spots on the gun anyways just needed a bit of extra paint the purple is fine it's just this lighter lavender um, this lighter purple color that kind of rubs off easily but other than that it's pretty great then you get his sword which I'll just bring this up to the camera pretty nice and yes this is detachable Get the camera back situated. And alright. So we pick that right there. And boom. Hold on. It's just. I'm like trying to adjust this. There you go. He has his sword. And he holds both weapons very well. And we have one last accessory which is the key to vector sigma which um this one you have to do some fiddling to get it in his hand as it doesn't really peg in or anything so that's the best i can get that in there and yeah now i'm going to move him over a bit no actually no i'm going to keep him here Let's talk about quality now i just easily took off this piece with the pin this piece, I took this off with the pin in, easily. Yeah, that happened when I popped off his chest, this whole piece just whoosh, flying off. And it wasn't like the pin broke, it's like they didn't, the pin, they didn't even put the pin in properly. And it was just sitting there loose, waiting to kind of come out. So I had to deal with that every time I put on the chest, which is really annoying. Another note with QC issues is on the smirking face, uh, there was a blob of paint on there. Black paint. And quite a bit of it. It wasn't like I could just... It was like, oh, okay, they put a lot of paint on here already. And I'm like, okay, I could just put some thinner on it and remove it. Nope, nope. It was... If I would have put thinner, it would have removed all the paint. So I was like, ah. I don't I show it? Well, because I tried to fix the problem. And that just made it worse. So, yeah. That's unfortunate. And also, some of the joints are really tight on this figure. Like, scary tight, like to the point where I feel like I'm going to break it. And we'll get to that soon, as this part has a scary tight joint over here. But it's die cast, so I at least have more confidence in that it's going to stay together than break. And, um, yeah, just some of the joint tolerances and stuff is just... Eh, kind of scary tight. Um, I'll show us some close-ups of the faces that we do have here. So we really showed a close-up close of the battle damage face, so we show up a close-up of the regular face. There we go. Pretty nice. Alright. Just flop that off. Put this on. And we're going to slap his chest on. And there we go. Pretty nice. Love the face sculpts on MP36. Excellent, excellent. And I would love to do a comparison between the KO and the official figure. But again, I am a person who is very broke and can't afford that. I was barely able to afford this thanks to some Christmas money and some family and stuff. And I do appreciate that as it made it possible for me to at least get the KO and have some enjoyment, quite quite a lot of enjoyment out of MP36, despite some of the issues that I've having or have had with them. Now, here for scale, we're going to have some other MPs. So, here is the official Hasbro um, Sunstorm. I almost said Skywarp. Lol, that's Skywarp on the brains. Talking to some people about the uh, Seekers, just in general, earlier. <laughs> so kind of had him on the brain. There's a size comparison, and if you want, prime in here as well. Yeah, there you go. And hold on, let's move this a bit. All right, and uh, let's get one of the MP cars in here. We'll throw in maybe a 
my MP Blue Streak. I forget which MP number he is because that's the American version, so the numbering is completely off. And last but not least, the, the scariest trans to transform out of all of these suckers, Hot Rod. Or Rodimus Prime. I had to say Rodimus Prime just because of his height. He's like stupidly tall. For Hot Rod. And yeah, that's... Hold on, let me move him over closer to Megatron. Get a sense of his scale. So he's about almost the same height as Megatron. And yeah, that's pretty much a sense of everything. And if you want Bumblebee... Now, note, I only have three KOs, which... Only two of them are up here now, which Bumblebee is the other KO. <sighs> Forgot to fold his feet in. The wheels into his feet. Didn't notice that. Alright. Because the other KO I have, which I will be doing a review sometime soon, is a G2 side swipe. I just gotta get some repo label stickers because the stickers that came with him suck, and I heard in the official one it's kind of the same deal too, so yeah. Oh, and for one more thing, which just isn't a masterpiece figure at all, here's Third Party Tarn. Or Kortor. From uh, Mastermind Creations, as he's called. And he's a lovely, lovely figure. I'll talk about him sometime soon. Love this figure. One of my more favorite figures in my collection. And it's my first, like, full-on third party figure, so yeah. I'll move these guys along, sidewalk. And don't worry, I'll be getting to MP reviews of most of these guys, except him. As the only time you're going to see me ever review this mold is if I somehow get a hold of a brand new version of the car version of this guy. In that case, I'll take a stab at it. And then point out some of the differences between the two. But uh, other than that, yeah, no, I'm not ever transforming that hot rod ever again. Or Rodimus Prime. However, because he's technically both, so yeah. But with that being said, Megatron, I imagine the has the uh, Takara version will be much, much better when I get him. Or if I ever do. Um, and yeah, would I recommend the KO? Maybe not this particular KO, as there are two other KOs, I believe, out there. I don't know if... There's one that shares similar engineering to this one, but it's different enough to be its own figure. And then there's, uh... Then there's the one where the silver is more silvery than here, where here it looks like a flat gray, but it's actually metallic. Like a metallic gray. Very nice looking. Um, yeah, you can't really see that well on the camera other than on his shins. But like it's it's everywhere on his paint except his face. His face is the only part that doesn't have the metallic sheen, but it still has like a like a gloss on it. And uh, yeah, I mean overall, if you need a cheap MP Megatron, I'd recommend this one or the other one, which comes with a hilariously enough a chest that resembles the the toy, and also comes with a face piece that resembles again G1 toy, which is freaking hilarious. And also that version, uh, the uh, voice, the voices you hear in here, because in here you hear the Japanese Megatron voice actor. You hear Frank Welker on the other version of the KO, which is made by a different company. Because this one is just a straight KO off of Megatron, whereas the other one actually has a new box and everything. And, uh, yeah. So I'd probably recommend that one if you really want something of better quality. I just heard that was better quality. Ah, man. Yeah, like this one, like my copy of this Megatron anyways, feels like at some areas it's losing its... It's losing its uh, stiffness. In some areas it's not like really stiff, it's a bit loose. And in other areas feel stupidly stiff. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, with this, with the one that just looks like a straight up uh, MPKO of the Megatron, of the MP36 mold, be mileage mileage may vary with each figure. 
And I just realized the top part of his head got chipped a bit. So yippee on that. But I don't know how that even happened. Man. Yeah, because none of my other tops of the head are like that. Yeah. Alright. Well. I mean, who looks the top anyway? Okay. Could have been doing transformation now when I think about it. What would I rate this figure? A 7. Mainly because of the stiffness issue I was talking about. Because you could have a figure that's awesome essentially breaking your hands like that. Because of how stiff some of the joints are. And also just how it's kind of... Well... Okay, well, he's not stupidly loose right now, but if he, if he actually handled my figure, you'd see some of the loose areas. And, um, they're not like Titan Returns six-shot legs loose. Um, which, do I have them out? Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah, they're not like that, but, like, it's getting there. And that is what is concerning me. Is that it's getting there. So yeah. Rate him a 7 for that. I really wanted to give this guy a 10. This KO. But you know what. I'll, I'll just buff it up to an 8. Because they did a nice job. Paint job. This works beautifully. Um, and the colors match the official one. As far as I can see from pictures pretty well. And that is really a. About it. This has been me, Mambat201. If you guys like this video, please comment, subscribe. As always, this has been me, Mambat201, and I am out. Peace.